As you can see here, this is the valve that I have broken off and this is what we are going to replace today. Uh, what we need to do is first to clean this up a little bit and then we're going to drill inside of this valve here in the middle as far down as we actually dare to f go and then we're going to uh, brush it up and see if we can get a new one fitted. First of all we make sure that we clamp the hose to the brake itself. We don't want any oil to come out when we start drilling. I start with a grinder just to make sure that the surface is flat. It's very important because if you have rust in a way you won't be able to do a proper drill. The drill I start with is quite small, it's just to make sure to get a first hole. When you are drilling make sure that you don't drill too deep, so you take a look every now and then to make sure that you are not going through, because if you are going through you might be damaging the end and then it won't be a uh, tight fit and oil will leak out. The pigtail I'm going to use is uh, something that looks like this. You screw it in and you try to screw it backwards to get the uh, bolt or whatever you are working with out. Uh, I did several tries with this one. Uh, first I noticed that I did not drill deep enough so I'm just checking with a lamp that I can drill a little bit more deep so I can get it to in all the way I need. I keep blowing it clean so I make sure that I don't have any garbage in the hole when in if I get it loose. I don't want to do it too much but I'm trying as best I can here but I won't get it to fit. So I'm changing to a bigger one and now I notice that I am not able to actually loosen it up at all. I will most likely just snap off the pigtail. It's a tedious work but it needs to be done. If you're not doing it like I'm doing here you have to buy a new caliper itself. And of course there is several ways to do it. Now I started off by drilling with a bigger drill itself. The drill was almost the same size as it was from the beginning. And that succeeded. I got this last part out but you need to be very very careful when doing that because you can end up hurting or damaging the, um, the, the, the caliper itself. But with that done I actually ended up removing the last parts and were able to put the valve back in place, the new valve. Um, unfortunately I left some footage out there because I did not film everything but the um, way to do it is actually just to keep doing it with several different sizes of the drill until you are done. The valve is now back in place and it looks promising. So let's remove the clamp on the hose. I do that and open the valve again just to make sure to see if it holds the oil in and if it comes out and it does. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and comment and I hope you follow me on the next video as well. If you haven't seen I have already a lot of videos in the past. They may not be the best quality but it was be, I think it would be a good choice to actually just look into them and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Bye.